Okay, and welcome to my channel. I haven't come up with a clever name for it yet. I probably don't really need that clever of a name. I only need to make it popular. So the purpose of this channel is... Oh my gosh, I gotta transition because we gotta move this. Uh, sorry, 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 sorry. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna cut it off. Hello, and welcome to my channel, and I don't have a good name for it yet. So, um, maybe I don't need a good name, but... I'm going to do a series about living in Thailand, living in Bangkok specifically, because that's where I've been an expat for the last nine years. And so here we go. Um, now, I've noticed in a lot of the places that expats hang out online that they're saying 35,000 baht per month is not enough to live on Bangkok. And I'm saying, yes, yes it is. And I'm, you're not going to have a great lifestyle. But there's ways you can save money. And there's way, there's things you can do that a lot of people just maybe they aren't resourceful or, you know, they, they feel like they owe themselves a certain quality of life and it's worth spending it for one reason or another spending the money on that sort of thing. Uh, but, it, you know, if you're struggling in Bangkok and you're only making 35000 baht a month, then hopefully this will, can help you. Uh, and give you, especially, you know, this is for people that are going to be here for a long time. Now, one of the things about teaching in a Thai school, if you're only making 35000 baht a month, and there's lots of people, the majority of people are, let's be honest about it, and then the majority of people leave. Because they don't, know what to do, they don't learn the language or whatever the issue might be, um, or they don't have the skill set. So hopefully we can we can alleviate some of it and they can save some money. And when you're working in a Thai school, they take up your premium hours. So doing things that are good for you, that are going to help develop you in a way that is going to give you the skill set to where you're going to be able to make more money, um, a lot of times, not just with with Thai schools, but a lot of jobs for that matter, they prevent you from being able to live the life that you want to because they're taking up your premium hours for personal development. And then, when, you know, you you got to have a social life. You know, you can be very disciplined and not do anything at all for months, but you need to get out. You need to blow off some steam. You got to open that valve and release some of that pressure. So, anyway, um, now ajohn.com is the website we're looking at right now. We're in the cost of living section here, and there's a lot of different. Um, how do you say? There's a lot of different demographics of teachers here. Uh, some of them are making two hundred thousand baht a month, which is about you know seven. Seven thousand uh, dollars. Um, there's some people that are making, and then on the lower end of the spectrum, they're making thirty-five thousand baht. And these are the people we're going to focus on again. So let's go through it. Um, I read through this once before, so I'm going to just skip through this. Here we got Richard. He's making seventy-five to hundred k. He spends uh, his salary. He make it depends on how much he works. He is private students. He's got his. His base salary is 75,000 baht per month from his school. Um, he seems to complain a lot, um, but he saves 40 to 60,000. He could save even more if he decided to be a little more disciplined and resourceful. Uh, but he doesn't really seem like he's in a position that he needs to do something like this because he's going, he's getting his QTS and PGCEI whatever that is, some sort of qualification for teaching an international school. So, um, <clears throat> now he spends 11,000 baht a month on his apartment. It's very small. Fine, you want to do that. He's got a scooter. He pays 800 baht a month on the gas. His room is small. Yeah, so he spends about 2,000 a month on his utilities. That's average. Um, He's really not living the best quality of. He's not spending his money wisely on housing. I'll tell you that. You know, you can do a lot better uh, if you're willing. And he's got a motorbike, so I don't know why. And he says he doesn't use public transportation. So what's the point of living in one of these dinky condos? Um, anyway, six thousand a month on 
six thousand baht a month on nightlife, and he avoids the five star hotel buffets. Well, you know what? If you weren't living, you could afford you could afford some of them buffets, buddy, and enjoy some really nice food uh, if you would get yourself a better housing situation. And there's lots of housing in Bangkok. You just gotta look around for it. Nothing on books and computers. Uh, he says it's decent enough. Say, oh, decent enough. Seventy-five thousand to a hundred thousand. That's decent enough. Not, it's not a lot of money, to be honest. But it's not in Bangkok. It's not a little bit of money. So, all right. Uh, his advice for aspiring teachers working overseas: get qualified at home first. It's an investment that pays for itself very quickly. He's right about that. He's still a little bit jaded because some people are making more money than him. All right. Uh, he's Bike is a bargain. La -di -da -di -da. Uh, if you don't have kids, don't drink. Avoid temptations and have a rich relative about to pass away and bequeath you. So he says realistically, 40,000 is enough to do it. If you do have kids, you do need to save for retirement. Well, that figure is much higher, perhaps as high as 150K. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, if you've got to stay here forever. Phil's analysis. 75,000 to 100,000 a month is not bad at all in Bangkok. Though, Richard, especially when you are only paying 15% of that for your accommodation, I'm sure it can be frustrating, though, to see all your colleagues earning significantly more plus benefits for doing, for technically doing the same job. Yes, it is. And I would refuse. I would refuse. I'd say, all right, you need to pay me. I'm doing the same job. I don't care. And I've done that before. I've done that before, and it's worked. And I said, okay, well, you want me to work at the school, you're going to pay me the same amount as everyone else. I'm doing the same job, same responsibilities. All right, so anyway, that's him. He's he's doing okay. He could save a little bit more money, but here we go. We're going to get down to, all right, we're going to take a look here. Uh, Steven, he's making 125 so we're not going to worry about him. He's doing okay. He can spend his money on what he wants to. Joe, 44000 Okay, let's keep going. Let's see who we can find. 100. No, come on, man. Come on, Phil. Most people, most people are making 35,000 baht. Some even less. A lot of people, the Filipinos and the Africans and the South Africans. 112. Come on. We don't, we don't need this, Phil. We don't need this. We need, we need the guys that are slumming it. Give me 44,000, 160,000. Come on. 90,000, come on, man. 45,000. 40,000 on Koh Samui. Come on, there we go. There we go. 32,000 baht. All right, this guy, Colin, is in Tonbury. That is just outside of Bangkok. And I know where that is. So here we go. Let's find out about him. This guy, hopefully, he's got something we can talk about. I teach at a private Thai school. My salary is 32,000 baht a month. This actually is a job I fixed up while I was still in England doing my research. For the salary, I work four days a week. Not bad. I have about 16 contract hours, so it's not punching by any means. I have lots of free time. Can't really complain there. I would love to save 10,000 baht a month for the sake of putting something decent away, but I find that pretty much impossible. It's usually closer to 5,000. Maybe, uh, who knows if this guy's qualified or not. He's even got a degree. Um, how much do you pay for your accommodation? Okay, so it shouldn't be much. School fund found me a cheap apartment, a short distance, a fairly small studio, an old building with quite a bargain at 4000 baht a month. And not really, dude. If you're out there, you can get a whole house for 4000 baht. You need to fix your housing accommodation. Now, where I'm at, I'm in a townhome. Okay, I, I spend 13,000 baht a month, but I'm building equity with my wife here, so that's a different story altogether. This townhome, I could probably rent it out for four or 5,000, maybe 6,000 baht a month, that's it. Okay, this first thing's first. Get your housing in order, all right? If you're making, if you're only making 32,000 baht a month, you need to get the most bang for your buck. Now, make, now and, and for, for this plan, you need a proper house. At least a townhouse. I'm not pleased that I'm in a townhouse. I'd rather be in a in a uh, in a detached home with land, things like that. I could do even more with that. So first things first, uh, Colin, you need to get yourself out 
of that apartment. Go find yourself a nice house. You can get one for four or five thousand baht. You're gonna have to pay for electricity on top of that, but you're gonna be able to accomplish so much more. I promise you. Okay. All right. Transportation, virtually nothing. I can walk. Okay, fine. Walk to school. All right. Utility, water, electricity, both come to about a thousand baht. Food, both restaurants and supermarket shopping. I eat street food. As, okay, so that's that six thousand baht a month. So he's spending about two hundred baht a day. He guesses. Uh, he's not being very accurate. Six thousand baht, uh, two hundred baht a day. So he's eating street food. Um, you can do that, and that's what that's actually part of this plan is your first couple of days in Bangkok are going to be, or your first couple of months if you're only making 32, 32 to 35,000 baht per month, you're going to need to eat street food because you're going to need to build up your pantry. You're going to need to build up um, the, th the things you need in order to, in order to, make the food that's going to save you money okay all right so nightlife and drinking i go into bangkok once a week for a night out and a group of us usually do the bars until very late depending on how wild things get you can easily blow a couple of thousand in a night so this could account for eight thousand baht actually blowing 25 percent of your salary on entertainment does sound a bit crazy now that i think about it yes it does colin how would you summarize your standard of living in one sentence? It's okay, but only for the short term. I want you to give teaching in Thailand, Thailand a try, but I can't honestly see me signing up for a second year. I'll need to make a decision about whether to move to another country in Southeast Asia or return home. Neither option fills me with much enthusiasm, but then again, neither does staying here longer than 12 months. What do you consider to be a real bargain here? Street food? I'm not sure. I describe it as a real bargain, but it's cheap enough. In your opinion, how much money does anyone need to earn in order to survive? Well, I'm surviving on 32,000 baht, but for how many years can you just survive? I think you're going to build, a, if you're going to be build a future here, you need at least 60,000 for a single guy, and I ain't anywhere near that. I'm probably not qualified to earn that sort of money either. Phil's analysis, you don't sound too happy with your lot, Colin. I'm wondering if you could use some of that free time you have to generate another income stream or two. Exactly. I bet with a bit of effort, you could add another 10 to 15K a month onto that 32,000, and it would make a big difference to your lifestyle. Absolutely. Phil's take on it is spectacular. Phil knows, and the guy's got a whole free day that he could be teaching for eight hours straight or even doing it online um yeah the guy this guy this guy is slumming it by choice so there's probably some more but let's take a look at let's break that down here so he's his first problem here is housing he's spending four thousand baht a month now to do what you want to do you need to have a house you're not going to be able to you're not going to be able to build things up you're not going to um, you're not going to be able to buy the things that are necessary to improve your life when you don't have the space for them, right? You're gonna you're gonna need to start buying you know, house household things. So here we go. Let's see if we can find another one. We've been recording a long time already. Let's see one more. Thirty-eight thousand in Bangkok. Okay, uh, it's a little bit over the limit, but we'll say virtually nothing. All right, how is this guy doing? Uh, how much does he? How much can you save each month? Uh, da, 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 da. I've already had a successful business career in Europe, so. Uh, okay, well, why? Are you, if you had a successful business career in Europe, why are you only settling for thirty-eight thousand baht? Right. That's well, up to you. Uh, 10,000 baht a month for a studio. Oh, man, same again. Look, you can find a whole house, a very big house, two bedrooms with a nice bath, a uh, yard. You can have a pet for 10,000 baht a month. And I'm not talking about in the sticks, all right? I'm kind of in the sticks. I can, I'm can. i near Dom Luong Airport, okay? Now, 
Now, I, there's places in Jatujak near the BTS for 10000 baht a month. Whole houses. You can get it. You can do it. Uh, food, both restaurants, supermarket shopping. All right. Seven to eight thousand baht a month in food. Are you kidding me? All right. You can eat street food for 200 baht a day. Now, imagine. Imagine what you can do. If these people are making a living selling street food, and people are like, what can that 6,000 baht a month do if you learn how to cook? You guys got a five year old laptop slum in it. This guy's in his 50s. Teaching for someone to do, I don't know, Patum Tani, 50,000, 45,000 in Chiang Mai, too much, 38,000, yeah, so that's that, all right, so here we go, so that is the challenge, all right, most of these guys are spending 10,000, 11,000 baht a month on accommodation. On top of that, they're throwing down another six to 8,000 baht a month on food, okay? That drives me crazy, that drives me crazy. They, like, how are you supposed to, how are you supposed to live, right? Why are you living like this? Is this how you would live at home? Maybe you make more money there and you can afford to, but you gotta adapt your lifestyle. If that's how much money you're making, you gotta adapt your lifestyle and make some changes if you if that's all you you know, and even like whether you're planning on pursuing the career and moving up or not, you still have like you're gonna have to make adjustments in the meantime until you can get back to that lifestyle that you're familiar with where you can just pay for everything and not care. I wouldn't even live like that myself personally, but, um, you know, that's me. So you do you, I'll do me. So we're going to, we're going to get, we're going to get down to it. And we're going to cut this video off now.